Hey everybody, what's going on? This is me, Alex. In today's video, I quickly just want to go run over uh, the fact that I am back from Europe and I will be making videos again and my audio setup explained because a lot of people ask me how I record my audio when I'm making my videos face to face just like I am now. So let's go right ahead and get started. I guess I can get started because this video is going to be completely handheld using my little camcorder here. Um, the mic I want to show you guys that I record all of this audio with is called the Samson Media Mic by Samson uh, Incorporated. And they actually produce uh, relatively reasonably priced mics at a great value. I really like this mic because it's very, very transportable. It will fit and because the legs will actually just fold up. And it will fit and look sort of like a Media. That's uh, got its name, uh, the Media Mic. And its quality is absolutely amazing for what I paid 80 bucks for a few years back. And since this is a USB microphone, it is not mountable to a DSLR camera like my 5D Mark III. But let me let you in a little secret. The camera that I did use to record this is the T3, Canon EOS Rebel T3, which unfortunately does not have a mic input, but um, it still does a great job at recording uh, 720p HD video, but it does record relatively well uh, audio as well with its built-in mic, but no camera has a really good built-in mic uh, except that camera, which I think is actually relatively well uh, built. Uh, now we can move on here to my computer. I just quickly want to show you guys what program I use to record the audio And I do use the program QuickTime right over there to record the audio as well as Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 to uh, Produce the audio and render my videos and edit my videos um, So what I do is I open up QuickTime player and if we go over here I go to uh, file so we can go ahead and go to file and I go to new audio recording and when I click on that it brings up this window which uh, will then tell me here and what I will do then is I will go prompt to exit and I will go ahead and ask me to save it and I'll go save it to my desktop as final and I will go save this to actually not my desktop because I do not want on that SSD I'll save it to my terabyte and then drive 10 terabyte drive final um, audio setup okay once I got that set I'm gonna click on save and it's gonna go ahead and export the audio file it should go relatively very quickly because of the fact that it's very small so that's my audio uh, really set up how I record it now moving on to here I'll show you earlier that I tell you that here is my Canon EOS Rebel T3 on my tripod that I purchased before I went to Europe and there it is it's that's the camera I used to record this video it's facing me and it's currently rocking the kit lens 18 to 55 millimeter lens because since I am in a compact environment I chose to go with this lens uh, because of my compact environment it's a very very well built wide angle lens since I do have it on manual focus uh, the Canon T3 does not unfortunately have a uh, flip screen so it is a little hard for me to record myself with this camera that's why I would normally use my camcorder but as you notice right here you ha have the option to mount um, not a mic but a flash because it does have a hot shoe moving on to the back here if we open up my video turn it on I will quickly show you that it when you turn it on I do have the settings here I do have a quick autofocus because I just like the fact that that does work best over here I have the autofocus quick my auto white balance as well as my settings contrasted to one because I turned down the sharpness all the way to add sharpness in post-production in Adobe Premiere Pro as well as my auto lighting optimizer set to standard and my frame rate set to 30 frames per second since I'm not recording cinema style and it does give me the option I do have my exposure set and locked at it about f uh, not a f at a 1.3 uh, because I it is a little dark in this room and I do like to a little expose my videos and I do have the grid on there so because it does record amazing video I do really like this camera so that's how I purchased it in the first place that's my camera of how I record my audio and then my lighting let me quickly go over that so this is my room and we start over here there's a bright 1000 watt light uh, fluorescent light which is facing my face to be, be the uh, front facing light to get all the shadows out. That's that little office light you have to see over there that just takes out mostly the shadows from the back. This light I use sometimes but not very rarely only if I'm recording like a room tour or something. And then I have these lights over here 
which help fill in my face. It fill lights uh, there, but this one's LED, this one's not. Um, this one just burnt out. But they all work very well for what I need it to. And I'll just quickly run over how I feel myself. So if I'm gonna go ahead and turn my this camera over to myself here, and if we turn over here, this is pretty much how it works. Um, if you go over here, this is the audio for my camcorder. So it's not that bad, but it does not record the audio mic. The mic does surround audio. It's because it's not a condenser mic. It records all the audio that's happening. Uh, it's because it records all the audio that's happening around the camera. So you don't really get the face-to-face -face audio that you normally get while holding the microphone. Now, quickly, I do not have a microphone stand. So if I just flip the screen so I can see this. I hold my microphone. I held my microphone for recording my video here. It was held against the screen, facing up, and then that will actually just record the uh, audio just like you would while looking at this microphone. You don't look at it, you just put it right over here and record the audio from your face up. That's how I record my audio, and while I'm on my Mac, I go right ahead and switch it over and quickly just go and flip it and then sync my audio up in Premiere Pro CAC. But I do own Pluralize, but I find that using Adobe Premiere Pro CC works better for me. That's my audio setup explained. If you guys enjoyed that video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys already haven't done that. Just stay tuned to the latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films. Bye, guys.